right, it's an exciting day today. It is August 23rd. This is the Note 10 Plus. I got the white version minus the T-Mobile variant. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. The Note series is always my favorite phones. The Note 9 has probably been my favorite phone of all time. All right, we got our stickers off. Check out that bad boy. That's the white variant. Uh, everyone's all crazy about the Aurora or whatever that color is. I went to look at it in Best Buy and I found it kind of annoying. And the black was on back order from T-Mobile. I pre-ordered it so I could get the $150 credit at Samsung. A uh, little pro tip. I was not going to be home. So I decided to have it held at the UPS store. Uh, which was pretty cool. So that way instead of this $1,100 phone sitting in my house, the UPS store held it for me. Inside the box we have a T-Mobile SIM, of course. A, ooh, a USB-C charger. They don't normally have that. Everybody's kind of moving that way, I guess. In here, USB-C, a... I don't know why they would include this and not include a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack. I don't know how many people use this. The C to C cord in there. And USB-C headphones, because of course this does not have a headphone jack. Those are some AKG. inside your ear hole ones. I don't like those kind of headphones, so I probably won't use those. So on the phone itself, we have this large plastic piece here on the back side. There is a pre-applied screen protector. I'm going to leave it on for the time being. I might take it off, but for now it's on there. On the bottom there is some plastic you can see. Samsung always does great care, a great job of taking care of their devices. It's on the top side as well. This side has no buttons. On this side, you got your power button and your uh, volume rocker. On the bottom, of course, just USB-C. And since I have the white one, it has a white uh, S Pen, which is pretty neat. I don't think I've ever had a white phone before. Alright, so let's go ahead and juice power them on. So that has a big screen, we like that. I'll go ahead and use the S Pen. Let's look at the terms and conditions. Once you read and agree to the, you can restore the settings and contents from your old device. I it like to go fresh. Alright, so we're connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm liking this white pen. It's pretty neat. So I will sign into my Google account. Alright, so now we're going to be... Uh, there's nothing better than this big giant screen. For at least, like I said, I'm a uh, large feller. I got big hands, so the phone's no problem for me. I'm gonna set up the fingerprints. Uh, I do a pin. So now let's see how the fingerprint scanner works. So I had this with the I had this with the S10 Plus and of course the OnePlus 7 Pro uh, and the OnePlus 6T. The 6T was not very good. The OnePlus 7 Pro was pretty solid. 
and the 10 was somewhere in the S10 Plus was somewhere in the middle. This should be the same center as the uh, S10 Plus, but I'm hoping it'll get a little better. Probably some software updates, some more data in there, right? And of course, I'll get more used to having a, a fingerprint sensor. All right, so we get here and ask you if you want some of this stuff. I don't want uh, this McAfee security. I do want visual voicemail, and I do want name ID, even though it doesn't work very well anymore. But I do use both those services. And then once we get this set up, we'll check to see what's all on here, right? Log into a Samsung account to get the most out of your device. So far, I really like typing on it. It's been pretty good so far. And I do really like uh, the white so far. I might put a case on it, of course. I already bought this Spigen. Spigen? Spigen. Uh, liquid air case. I had the same one on my Note 9. And it was pretty good. So you can see I've had a lot of Samsung devices. Uh, I will bring the data from my Note 9. And I will install these apps. I do like the Samsung apps. A lot of people complain online about Samsung apps. Uh, I don't. I really like the Samsung apps. I think the Samsung calendar is far superior. And the keyboards I do like, but I'll probably use SwiftKey. All right, so let's, I do not have my SIM card in here, just some Wi-Fi currently, and we'll take a look. So there's the screen recorder app. Obviously it has the NFC. Bixby routines, I really like, so I'm glad it has that. Uh, so let's just take a look what else we got here. So there's having trouble syncing. That's all right. I got to finish downloading stuff. Uh, so let's just see what kind of apps we have on here already. So we have all the Google stuff, of course, standard inf standard stuff there. I use all those, so I don't have a problem with that. Microsoft apps. Uh, I do use LinkedIn. I use Office Mobile uh, Outlook. I don't normally use, but I might start. We'll see. Samsung apps. Pin up. I don't use. Quick Measures. New. I don't recall that being somewhere previously. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's for the the AR stuff. I see. T-Mobile apps. It popped up and asked me if I wanted to install these, and this one comes pre-installed. That makes sense. Uh, calculator, all this is Samsung default. But all that makes sense. All that should be on there. I don't know what Samsung Global Goals is. Oh, that's some kind of like uh, their charity stuff or UN stuff. So yeah, not a lot of stuff on there. Spotify is already pre-installed. I'm gonna install that anyhow, so I don't have a problem with that. Let's look at wallpapers. Oh, so there's the default ones on the device. They're kind of cool looking. I might try some of those dark ones. And for now, I'll leave it to this kind of guy just to get used to it. So let's check the settings out. Uh, so you can tell this is the Samsung One UI. Obviously, we can change the display to night mode, which we really like. And if you want to go to software update, I think there should be a day one update. Yeah, so there'll be an update to have you on the August 1st security patch. Uh, it's downloading that now. So it tells the T Mobile one. Uh, let's go ahead and install it now. This is still downloading. While we're doing that, I can take a look at this one. I got this off of Amazon. I want to say it was like ten or eleven dollars or something. Uh, I said I've had these cases before. 
It's a very thin case. I will use that on the phone. Uh, I'm going to cash in my Samsung $150 and then order the official Samsung cases, but for now I'll use this one. You can see I had the same one for the Note 9 and I liked it a lot. It's a pretty cool effect. So there's the air actions for the pin. I probably will not use those, so I don't really care about that. You can see I changed it to night mode, so now it's black here. Alright, so now we had our update. Let's take a look. Android version 9. Uh, one UI version 1.5 security software version August 1st 2019 uh, another thing we want like people like to see I guess is the storage So you can see 32 gigs have been used out of 256. It's pretty solid. And the memory. It's using 3 out of 12 gigs of RAM. So this phone's going to be a beast. And I'm looking forward to it because I put my phone through the paces. Alright, so that's the first look at it. I'm going to make more in-depth videos, of course, but now i got to get all this set up and check them out. But thanks for checking me out. That is the Note 10 Plus, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so today is the next day, August 24th. I'm still setting it up. As you can see, I changed the colors. I wanted to add a couple things in here before I close this video out. Uh, if you see this little power button here, Click on that, and that's how you normally turn it off, or you can hit the side key settings. Because this is mapped to Bixby uh, out the box. If you hit side key settings, you can make a double press, launch the camera, and the regular power button to do that. Or you can set the open Bixby to that, or you can open an app and pick any of your apps here, right? So you can make that shortcut button to anything you would like, which is pretty cool. I'm going to leave it double tap for camera, even though I never use that in power off menu. Uh, another item. The display. Uh, initially it was set to natural. Uh, if you like the Samsung, uh, I like Vivid, so you're probably used to that. If you've had several Samsungs in the past, it makes the screen look better. In my opinion, some people don't like that. And screen resolution is out the box set to full HD and you want this WQHD if you want to get the full power of the screen. Some people say you can't tell the difference but who cares what they think. Also interesting if you notice this prompted me to log into Outlook that was pre-installed but what's not pre-installed is Samsung's email app. You'll have to go to the store and get that if you're used to using that and I don't want marketing here but uh, it's interesting right because it's email and see you have to you actually download the Samsung email normally I have to delete that's on the default and on the other devices so it's interesting they've been making that change to Outlook instead of the Samsung email personally I like their email and I like their calendar so and I'm still setting it up of course it seems pretty click and fluid. Uh, I'm going to do some more tests. I'm going to test some games out uh, and we'll have more videos coming up on the channel. Alright, thanks for checking me out. <laughs>